I got the Volvo. He's going in the South Don on 27 Avenue. It's going to be occupied by a white male, Adrian Montesano. Unit you know, caution, subject is armed. Speeding south on 27th Avenue, the Volvo turns left onto 66th Street, then a quick right on 26th Avenue. Adrian Montesano crashed through the fence of this housing complex, wedging the car between a tree and a light pole. Less than a minute after the crash, you can hear gunfire over the police radio. Shots fired, shots fired, 26th Avenue and 64th Street. The scene was chaos. Officers had no idea that Montesano had a passenger in a car with him, 50-year-old Corsini Valdez. Both men were unarmed, trapped in the Volvo and going nowhere when police started shooting. Meanwhile, in the neighboring townhouses, more than a dozen families, including some 20 children, cowered in their homes. We have icing right here, body armor and helmet. Shots fired from between 62 and 64 Street off of uh, 26 Avenue. The gunfire that police officers north of the car were dodging came from newly arriving officers south of the car. Bullets were sprayed everywhere. They hit the Volvo, other cars in the lot fence posts and neighboring businesses. They blasted holes in a townhouse. Anthony Vandiver lives in that townhouse. Shooting just wild, man. Just shooting all over the place, man. You know, bullets could have came through the window. Anything could have happened, man. They wasn't thinking, man. They wasn't thinking at all. We need to establish that perimeter. I have not verified if the subject is down or not. We have the vehicle confined. The officers need to pay attention to the radio. They are not listening. Okay? Now that the car was surrounded, the plan was to bring in SRT, the special response team, and have them take over. Inside his house, Anthony Vandiver used the temporary quiet to race upstairs and check on his family. He said he looked out his bedroom window, which looked directly down onto the blue Volvo below. He said he could hear the police yelling at the men in the car. They would say, put your hands up. And the guys were still moving after they shot, like maybe 50, 60 times. Right. And the guy tried to put his hands up, and as soon as they put their hands up, it erupted again. And that was it for them. That guy tried his best to give up. You actually looked out your window and saw the driver saw with it. his hands in, I in the air? I swear to God on everything I love, my kids, my mama, everything. I seen it all. And it went on and on. Almost 25 seconds of unrelenting gunfire. In all, 23 officers fired at least 377 rounds. But Montesano and Valdez weren't the only ones struck. Two Miami-Dade police officers were hit as well, caught in the crossfire. To avoid any more officers being shot, dispatchers passed the order there is to be no more shooting. As the smoke clears and the sun begins to rise, officers drag Montesano and Valdez's bodies from the car. Although he appears dead, they decide to transport Valdez to the Ryder Trauma Center anyway. They did overshoot because I don't think those boys that was in that blue Volvo shot at them back because they was from the corner to all over the gate just shooting, having a shooting spree.